<coughs> Welcome to Bouncy Jelly Gaming. BJG for short. And yes, man. Oh, man, oh, man. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about monetization in Call of Duty Part 2. And yes. Um, as you guys can see right now in the in the background, I have some Black Ops 4 gameplay, and uh, yeah, just as you guys can see, I'm playing some Blood of the Dead. So you know, this map wasn't that any anything special. It was just a pretty much a uh, a Mob, Mob of the Dead remake, which was really meh. And uh, yeah, but at least it was pretty fun. So whatever. <laughs> but yeah, this going to be the gameplay in the background. So I'm Blood of the Dead. So yeah, you guys wanna you know. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay, but uh, today we're going to be talking about team monetization in Call of Duty. And uh, uh, in my last video, um, I was talking about monetization in Call of Duty before um, Modern Warfare, before Modern Warfare 2019. And uh, those Call of Duty games, the monetization where it was just mainly on, you know, loot boxes. It was mainly supply drops. And, you know... Before that, you know, it really wasn't all about bundles and ten dollar, you know, scans and stuff. It was all about supply drops. It was loot boxes. You know, it was all about randomness and stuff. So, and yeah, nowadays, um, let's start. With, let's start with Modern Warfare 2019. Well, actually, Modern Warfare 2019 and Black Ops Cold War have the same monetization. You know, they have the same uh, microtransactions. You know, bundles and stuff. So. I want to talk about this stuff because I don't like it, and I think now this makes me want to, you know, makes me want to praise more supply drops. Like I think supply drops are a lot better <laughs> than the um, than the bundles that we have nowadays, you know. And look, man, like to me, supply drops were way better than bundles because at least with the loot boxes, you can actually earn them by playing the game, like. That's one of the things that I actually appreciated about the supply drops. Even though they were horrendous, but at least you can actually earn things for free. But now, with the um, with the bundles and you know stuff that you buy, you know through the store, you know it's it's which is ridiculous. They are twenty dollars, thirty dollars, you know, ten dollar bundles. You know, with with minor microtransactions, you know, like you don't get that much. From a $30 bundle, you know. They're basically $30. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> they're not They're not 20 They're not 25 They're $30, bro. <laughs> but, uh, man. Like, I was going to re-download Warzone. Just so I can show you guys the store. How garbage it is. But, I didn't do it. Because I didn't want to waste my time downloading a, a game that I'm not going to touch. You know, I, I don't play Warzone. And, I said, right now, I don't have Black Ops Cold War. Or, or Modern Warfare 2019. Because those games are pretty garbage. But uh, I was going to download Warzone. Because you can actually. If you go if you download Warzone. You can actually see the store. You can actually buy stuff from that store in Warzone. And I think the, the store in Call of Duty. I think it's universal. So you know. I think this, it, it, like, the, everything that is in Warzone. Is basically everything that is in Modern Warfare. And in Black Ops Cold War. I think so. You know. That's what I think. I, I'm not sure. But uh. But the thing about the store is that it's pretty garbage because I know, you know, like when you buy it, you know what you're getting. But the thing about it is that it's so expensive. Like if, if you guys, if you go, if you guys go back in time, right? Back then, the microtransactions were very, you know, very minor. It really wasn't anything big when it came to, you know, the system, you know, to the, uh, to the Call of Duty franchise, right? You know, back then you only had you buy a five dollar uh, camo, right? And it was you know it was a camo for every weapon in the game, and it, the camo looked good too. You know that was that was back then. You know, Black Ops Two days, Call of Duty Ghosts. You know, those were pretty much the last Call of Duty where you can actually buy five dollar camos for for all your weapons. Even even Advanced Warfare had that, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, uh, but now. You buy this $20 bundle, and then you get a camo or a skin or whatever for just one weapon. <laughs> one weapon, and then after that, you all, all of, everything else in the in the bundle, in the bundles, is just freaking filler. Like, I'm not kidding, bro. You get you get a weapon charm. Like, really? 
get a weapon charm, you get a freaking the the the, the, the those freaking what's it called the the sprays, you know stickers or whatever. You know those those things are pretty useless, man. And for twenty thirty dollars, you know it's just not worth it. <laughs> Don't buy thing. Don't buy microtransactions, man. Don't buy them. They are pretty garbage. Like at least with supply jobs, you can actually get a lot of stuff, you know. <laughs> but in here, you know, nowadays you, you you don't get shit. Like, like I'm not I'm not I'm not joking, man. This supply these um bundles makes me praise loot boxes a lot more. I hate the bundles in in in, in Call of Duty. You know, I hate them. Uh, they literally copied Fortnite with their freaking ten dollar skins, you know, fifteen dollar bundle. You know this. You know Fortnite is the freaking game they came out with all these shit. Like, like, come on, man. Like, Fortnite, bro. Like, that's the first thing that comes into my head every time I see bundles and stuff. I'm like, who started it all, right? And I'm like, oh, Fortnite, Fortnite, you know. It's ridiculous, man. I, that's, that's why I despise that game. Because that game made, the, it pretty much ruined the Call of Duty franchise for me, man. If it wasn't for Fortnite, maybe Call of Duty would have been in a better spot, you know. Because, you know, Call of Duty will be focusing more on their 6v6, you know, mode. Instead of fucking doing Battle Royales, you know, every game. <laughs> so, yeah, uh... Those those bundles, man. They're they are uh, they're horrendous, man. Don't buy them. I'm telling you guys, those bundles are not worth your money, um, especially in Call of Duty. Because you know when you get it, when you buy a bundle, if you play Warzone, it's kind of worth it ish, because you can actually use it in Warzone. Everything from you know from the store, you know it's universal. You can use it in Warzone, but the thing is that you cannot use it. On other Call of Duty games. That, that's the thing that I don't like. <laughs> about Call of Duty. You know. You buy things. It's good if you're a Warzone player. But then when you are a. Uh, you know. Call of Duty. Normal OG Call of Duty player. You just, uh, just play 6v6. You don't want to buy this just for Warzone. You know. Like I don't. I don't like let's be honest bro. Like I, I cannot play Warzone. It's pretty damn boring. I, I can't. I, I freaking can't. Um, but yeah, man, what do you guys think, man? Do you guys think bundles are a good thing to the Call of Duty franchise? Because I think th those things, man, like those bundles, yes, you know what you're getting, but the thing is, it's too expensive. Like, in my opinion, everything in the store, in the Call of Duty store, you know, those $20, $30 bundles should, in my opinion, should be like, I don't know, $5, $8, you know, max, you know, $10 max, actually. Thirty dollars, you know, it's ridiculous, man. This is like you're basically buying half of the game, you know. It's pretty stupid. And the thing that's that's funny, you know, uh, is that the bundles usually actually cost more than the map packs, you know, the DLC packs from from the old Call of Duty games. So, and it's it's stupid, man. Like those bundles, bro. It's ridiculous, man. Um. It is what it is, man. Like, Call of Duty, man. All they care about is, you know, money, 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 money. You know, microtransactions. They don't care about the quality of the game anymore. It, it, it's done, man. Call of Duty, man. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, man. Um, I don't even know what I want to talk about in my next video. I'll, I'm going to think about it. Just, just to see. If there's anything to talk about, but yeah, man. Oh man, Call of Duty, man. Oh, maybe act. I don't know, man. I for I said right now, I think Activision is worse than EA, man. Let's be honest, bro. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, man. Um, what do you guys think, man? Uh, do you guys like bundles or do you guys like loot boxes better? Because I think loot boxes are way superior than bundles, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe. And yeah, man. Uh, see ya, guys.